What's up everybody, Dead Johnson here from DieselCrew.com. Of course, you know they call me Napalm. And I'm back at it with a Q&A here on the YouTube. Took a little time off from there because not many questions were rolling in. And I started putting more time into more instructional and more informative uh, grip strength training Q&As on my membership site, thegripauthority.com. But I had one come in uh, recently that I thought was a pretty good discussion topic. So I wanted to cover this and it comes from Prime 2013. And I'm not sure what video uh, this was on unfortunately, but it must've been an inch dumbbell lifting video. And he says, nice dude. So in your opinion, how close would I be to an inch if I am around 200 on the Rolling Thunder? I did 203 a while back. So what he's talking about is how close would he be to lifting the inch dumbbell since he can do 200 on the Rolling Thunder. All right, so here's the thing. The Rolling Thunder is abs is the absolute worst rolling handle on the market. It's it's just it's just the truth. So and, and really any rolling handle it's, it's tough to say exactly how much you would need to lift in order to say you're in a position where you can lift the inch dumbbell because there's a lot of variables. Um, in the past, uh, you know, some people have thought 200 was a pretty good mark. But here's the thing, with any rolling handle, because it's attached to a loading pin, you might only have to lift that six inches in order to get a full lift. So depending on how tall you are, how tall the loading pin is that you're using, what kind of carabiner set up, all that stuff is going to dictate how far you have to actually pull the handle in order to reach lockout. And generally to lift the inch dumbbell to lockout, it's at least twice or even three times as far. So you've got to contend with the rotation of the inch dumbbell for a lot longer time. And most of these handles don't mimic the, the rolling action of the Rolling Thunder as well as you would think. So it's really hard to say. There's 20 plus different handles out there and who knows what the, what the best number is for each handle uh, to indicate when you would have the inch dumbbell strength in order to be able to lift it. So it's hard to say. All I'm saying is with a rolling handle, no matter what it is, because the distance you lift it is so short, you can pull something to lock out and it's not even close to how far you have to pull the inch dumbbell, okay? Now, this is actually why I say that roll, uh, thick, uh, thick bar plate loadable handles are better to train for the inch dumbbell than rolling handles. So what I'm talking about is a loadable dumbbell that you would add plates to that has about a two and three eighths to two and a half inch handle. I've said this for years, and as long as you aren't butting your, the, the heel of your hand or your wrist up against the plates, that is the best way to train to lift the inch dumbbell and build that strength that is available on the market today if you don't actually own an inch dumbbell. In fact, earlier this year, I put together a workout for thegripauthority.com called the Inch Builder Workout. And it's four drills that I've done for years and that I started out doing in 2003 after I first laid my hands on the inch dumbbell. So I actually made my own inch dumbbell handle out of a PVC pipe and duct tape. And I've talked about that many times here on the channel and on different interviews. And that served me very well because over a little over a year's time, I was able to go from not even be able to get the thing off the ground to developing serious strength that was getting me closer to lifting the inch dumbbell. And then once I owned my own inch, it was a very short time. So over the course of about a year and a half, I think I put like 15 or 20 pounds on my plate loadable inch performance 
and it was a much quicker journey to get the inch dumbbell lifted. So right now, the inch builder workout is available for the TGA members. I'm working on the finishing touches for putting together that workout and it's gonna be available on my uh, website store. You can go to dieselcrew.com slash store slash shop. The link will be in the description box below and you can pick that up. Um, I strongly suggest that you join thegripauthority.com. Um, it's, it's $1 for the first 30 days, $17 after that. And you'll get not only the inch builder workout that shows you how you can use one of these thick bar plate loadable dumbbells to increase your grip strength and get you closer to lifting the inch dumbbell, but you'll also get everything else that I've ever put on the site once you join. So I started the TGA website, the Grip Authority, in January of 2010. So there's over 14 years of information on there and I've got a lot more stuff related to inch dumbbell training on there. Grippers, pinching, contest prep, feats of strength, all that stuff is on there. So I encourage you to join today. Um, when that inch builder workout uh, program uh, product is ready to go, it will be in the store. So check out the store today. And um, I think this year with as many people that are buying inch dumbbells, I mean, they're not necessarily flying off the shelves, but a lot of people bought inch dumbbells last year. And I know that many, it was kind of a wake up call, like, oh wow, I'm really a lot farther away from lifting this thing than I thought I was. The inch builder workout is going to help you out tremendously. So um, I think it's, I think it's going to be, I think we're going to see an explosion in the number of inch dumbbell lifters. So check out the description box. The links are down there. All the best in your training, everybody. Be sure to subscribe. Give it one of these. All the best in your training. Take care.